Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of our Let's Play of Surviving Mars! With the tourism update, we're playing as Russia here. We're on 550% difficulty. Again, assuming I'm remembering that correctly. Dust storm approaching. Dust storm. That's going to be a little annoying. We'll see. The biggest problem right now is we do um, constantly received. have these Palmer production issues. Maybe... Let me quickly get factory amplification. We're going to put it at the top. Um, yeah, we're going to delay the emergency training. I think that's going to have to be okay. We're going to put it at the top, and then we can get a 25% boost to the output of our factories, and that will be useful. It uses a bit of extra power, but I think that's going to be okay. Oh, one of our rockets did arrive. Cargo rocket is going to just load itself up with polymers. We need a bunch for our, our construction. So we'll put a little bit of electronics. Um, we need a bunch for our, our construction. We need some for maintenance, and I think I think our production is fine for our maintenance, but it becomes harder when we also are trying to build a new dome, which I would like to populate as quickly as possible. It would be lovely. Mm -hmm. And at some point, we'll have to get our um, our Martian, our native Martian growth going to the point where we uh, more job slots than houses, even with that. But that's probably okay. Um, where we outstrip people who become Earth sick, and of course the Martian borns never get Earth sick because they were never from Earth. Closing on Soul 78 over scanned. here. We're definitely not going for Gagarin's legacy, by the way, which would be to extract 10,000 resources from Mars before Soul 100 as Russia. Um, the reason we're not doing it is because the difficulty setting is a little intense here. So that's making things a little bit more difficult for us to get that. That was never that was never the goal. But we are hoping to get no pain, no gain, which is 500 uh, colonists or 500 people in our colony here on a difficulty of 500% or greater, which, assuming we continue to be very kind of careful and cautious with our growth here, we should be able to manage. Is there a breakthrough that increases the uh, speed of your shuttles? It'd be really nice to get that if we're playing as uh, Russia here, because our shuttles are very, very slow. Very, very slow. I mean, maybe a little bit more realistically slow. Well, probably not even that close. Um, oh, I know there are some, uh, some planetary things we could be doing as well here. Some um, some anomalies we could be checking out, which would be very nice. Resources. Breakthrough with a driller. Okay. I mean, I've got lots of things I want to use my shuttles for, including getting more people for my, uh, my colony, but I think it might be worth... Especially, we don't want to get beaten to the breakthrough one. That would be really annoying, so I think that might be a pretty high priority for us. Okay, polymer production, two per day. Maintenance, two per day. Holy crap. No, there is a lot of polymer maintenance. We'll have to set up a polymer factory outside of this one, I think. Damn! Yeah, no, that's pretty intense. So our explorers haven't, or don't have anything else to explore right now Funding until we can get received. to the upper area. I guess I should actually be scanning over here. Because we don't actually care about the deep scans here anymore. Because it's a little far for us. We found an area that, uh, that with some deep deposits that might be good, but we don't have the tech to exploit it. Whereas scanning these sectors here, I know we're still scanning that one, but I'll let it finish. Um, scanning those sectors could reveal more anomalies. And we'll deep scan at the same time. Alright, here comes the dust storm. Ah! Oh, that is incredibly frustrating timing. It was just like one hour late, this shuttle here. Ooh, that is, that is really rough. Um, you're going to be a passenger rocket which we'll tell you to launch and be ready to go. So we're going to have to wait out this dust storm before we can get more polymers. Now, we I mean, we have the one. We can't... Our, our little shuttles don't work either. That's why it's going to be nice to have an excess of things or to get the polymer production place over here. This just broke down. We need, what, machine parts? Okay, at least we've got that. We've also got tons of fuel. So our fueled extractors are obviously okay. We can run those all day long. <laughs> Leaks, but hopefully that'll get patched up quickly. See a reason why it shouldn't over here. Yeah, no different leak. That's also going to get fixed. That's fine. Then we've got the extra sterling generators, which do require maintenance, but they're in the dome. Other than this one, maybe I should just get rid of this one completely. You know what? Let's do it. It needs maintenance. And I'm sorry, I just got an achievement for Gagarin's legacy. I didn't realize it was going to be so easy to do. I just realized, I, it, does it count the water extraction? Hold on, where's steam? Extract 10,000 resource units from deposits. Oh shit, no, okay. You know why? Because it's counting the water. And this water deposit had 10,000 in it. So this is responsible for like a little over 7,000 by itself. 
I didn't realize it was going to be so easy. Never mind. Duh. Wow. Yeah, this dust storm is annoying. Now, with the terraforming, I don't rem Uh, that's not the screen I want. What is the screen I want? There's a, a terraforming screen that gives you meters about... Is it on here? Is it here? Here it is. Dust storms. Dust storms end at 50% atmosphere. That's going to be a challenge to get to it, but wouldn't it be nice, huh? Found. More anomalies, and actually, hopefully... Yeah, that's there. Good, so that'll get scanned by our little bots. Thank you very much. Five hours, and we can land and get our polymers flowing again. And we're just holding pace with the polymers. Yeah, if we can get this dome populated, that's going to be really good. I might want to put, like, a dome next to it that's going to be all of our, like, sexy growth education dome. Boom. End of an age. Is that our last founder? But old age as well, so that's good. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, rather than maintaining this battery, should I just trash it? Nah, I'll keep it. Okay, we, can, we can save a lot of power. Building not working. It's probably just something that... Oh, it's temporarily full. It's your concrete output, which is okay, I suppose. The anomaly turned out to be one of the most oh. well-preserved asteroid impacts in our area. Research. Money and a ton of science. Research or factory amplification is really great because what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade our polymer factory. Actually, we're going to upgrade all of our factories, I think. There we go. I mean, they'll use more power, and it uses polymers to do it, but I think we're going to appreciate it very, very much. This is lots of places to live, not a lot of places to work. Shuttle's coming with passengers, and that one will take off at some point. Got plenty of fuel kicking around. So you're going to be okay. We can use the polymers to upgrade a few more things. But I think we're okay, actually. I don't think we need to upgrade any of those. You're ready to take off. Please do... Ooh! Well, I guess you've already taken off. Because I, I want to run... There's um, some anomalies I want to do. But I guess we're going to have this rocket. And people might still move between domes, but we've got the shuttles for that. New colonists have arrived. So, solar, send a driller. Yes, please. I'm going to take the driller and just make sure it's not uh, actually doing anything right now. So it'll be idle, because if it's in the middle of a job, it won't it won't leave. You'll detect us and break through, please. And getting these farms operating first is, certainly seems like a decent idea. Even if they don't generate much food, if they, even if they don't have a lot of people, if there was literally one person working in each one of these, I think you still get the soil quality increase, which is kind of nice. So yeah, finish this, then get the Martian Institute of Science. We'll get the Hawking's Institute, which is going to be great for this new dome. I'll build two of those, two of the regular research labs, probably. Because they're working on 25% research boost because of these research Sector sites. Scanned. Um, I, you will need some services. Maybe I should plop those down sooner rather than later. Um, it'd be nice to have the spire, but we don't have it unlocked, so. Anomaly factory automation. What, factories don't need people? Lowers the amount of workers needed. Well, that will be really nice. I don't know when we're going to research it, like what our order is going to be, but we'll see. I'm going to build a full security station in this dome. Um, and, oh, a grocer. A full grocer. Right over here. I'm going to leave that little tile open because we can build a tunnel out of it. I'm going to build a uh, large garden over here. Good, 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 good. 22 jobs unaccounted for. Uh, shuttles are all busy. Actually, I should leave it here. Maybe I should make the sexy dome right here with this vista. That actually sounds like a good idea. And land again with the driller. I wonder, can the driller work at deep deposits? No, queued task zero. So I don't think it can. Uh, well, okay, no, it's traveling. Well, we'll see. Emergency training for skill ups. Martian Institute of Science for the Hawkins Institute is going to be very nice. I don't need to rush these, because right now I'm okay with having people work. Um, no, that's still fine for now. Where is it? 
Maybe it would have been good to do this sooner. I like the higher performance, but maybe opening the workers would be good. Uh, we can get the smart homes in the queue for our sexy dome, because they're really high comfort. And this increases comfort in our barrel dome, the one barrel dome we've got. Maybe, you know what, let's cancel that. Let's put in the micro uh, microgravity medicine for the medical spire. Although this one might want the network hub. I like the medical spires because they can be upgraded to the higher fertility um, upgrade. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do a small dome here because it'll get the comfort boost um, and it, it might be the best place for sexy times. Uh, oh, you... Actually, I should have queued one of these up. Research progress, shape. Archimedes is a breakthrough if we have seven medics, which we probably don't have. Can we do a sp spy stuff? Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's do that. And colonists... Medics? No. Tons of people earth sick. Oh, damn. That's a lot of people who are sick. I mean, admittedly, the comfort levels aren't great. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, we need more people, that's a problem. We might end up with a, a spiral of decreasing numbers here. Funding received. Boom. Research complete. Stolen. Great. And passenger rocket. Um, medic. That's it. Okay, well, let's increase the number anyway. We actually just stole the low G right away. Oh, that's nice. That's worth more than the thousand science, which is often all we steal. Maybe I shouldn't have built apartments here. Maybe I should have built the uh, shopping, drinking. Oh yeah, we do, we do need more of that. Okay, let's drop you here. We'll do another mission. We need some extra services. Um, dining. Small space bars. Probably still enough here. Low G amusement park. Relaxation, exercise, playing social. Hmm. Huh. Build a casino. Sector scanned. Colonists are departing. Colonists are departing. I know, except they're not actually. So we're going to keep getting that message because uh, we're not letting people go because we are busy doing these missions here rather than returning to Earth. But the tech stealing is going to be really valuable. We have a ton of money. We're actually okay on resources now. And theoretically, we may remain so. Okay, let me, once again... Oh, no, we don't have the amplification on. Good. Uh, you do here. Let me turn that off. Let me turn off the shift. I guess people are moving between the domes. Again, we have this tourist. Where the hell did you come from? We definitely don't allow tourists to come in. I'm really confused. There might be something glitchy. Man, that takes a lot. That's nine people to work fully. You know what? Screw this. Let me trash this. We'll just build a security post instead. Um, I guess I can build it here. Find another place to tunnel. We might not need one over here. Personal space. Colonists a snap. Demand more personal space. He's right. We all need more space. All residents will grant more comfort, but less living space. Or all colonists lose comfort. Wait, permanently? Shit. That seems really bad. comfort. Oh man, that, I'm really worried that that's going to bite us in the ass here. But I didn't want to nerf our living space. And one more spy mission, please. Versus Paradox. Steal technologies. Go, go, go. We may have to start stealing colonists. Although, then we'll have to wait. Kind of. There's not. It's not a true cooldown, exactly. It's, um, 
I mean, there is, but the other thing is that if we have low relations with people, we can't go and uh, steal their stuff. Because there's a high chance of being spotted, so we'll have to stop stealing tech and start stealing colonists, which may be something we need to do. Alright, you're going, you're returning with more passengers and you're nearly here, which is good. But if you keep getting earthsick people, maybe it's not so helpful. Shopping exercise, drinking. Okay, I mean, those, all those buildings exist. Oh, covert ops failed, and we we're caught. So we lost people, and we didn't get the tech. Okay, that is actually really, really quite terrible. We don't have the fancy new crops over here yet. No, no upgrades for our apartments or anything. Done, 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 done. Land you here. We know we're not really going to get anything out of it. Sector oh, scan. more passengers, please. I think we're going to send both of these home. Departing to collect more colonists for us. New colonists have arrived. We've got enough money, we could actually use the supply pods if need be. So we're definitely going to use these for colonists. Um, electronics are going down. Tourists. Is it turning people into tourists? What is going on? This dome here. Yeah, I could definitely support more people and then more work slots. Yeah, it's... The earth sickness is being a bit of an issue. And we did hit more comfort decrease. I don't know if it's comfort that causes people to go away, though. As much as morale loss? I actually don't know what the breaking point is. Okay, yeah, you're definitely not mining that. Just mine this. That's going to be okay. I mean, we have... Oh, well, the rare metals is going down. So we're turning some of them into electronics. We're shipping away a lot of them. So digging that up is going to be handy. Boom, boom, boom. More people are leaving than anything else. Okay, you go as well. Parting tours. Okay, it's it's counting the um, it's just reporting the Earthsick people as tourists. I guess maybe once they become Earthsick, they flag them as tourists, and then they're tourists that are giving us zero money. I guess that might be exactly what's going on. Which, sure. Crop failure reported. Yeah, well, we don't have enough workers, so crop failures sort of make sense. Although the uh, soil quality here is 70%, 60% over here. Still growing. Our food situation is actually okay. Probably don't need both farms. In fact, maybe I should just stop one for now. I'll turn this one off. Open up an extra worker. Just one, but that's going to have to be okay. Yeah, so between the low comfort, which isn't helped by all our disasters... Um, between that and the long travel time, it's really hard to keep up our, our population numbers. Negative power at night. Anomaly found. I mean, that's fine, but... Yeah, finish scanning that. And then actually, I think the next goal, we're going to scan this area over here. And we'll tunnel up to there. Yeah, we'll tunnel up to there and then we can scan... Uh, all up over here. Actually, we'll scan that and then we can Anomaly start analyzed. Doing some scans like this. I should put a little uh, tower over there too, which is easier to do now that we've got the shuttles. There's more to the barren environment. Domeless farming. Well, we're a little far away from that, unfortunately. Boom. Yeah, comfort. Better crops. We do have the thing... Okay, farms increase comfort. The small domes comfort. Um, yeah, maybe. I think it's going to become imperative that we get a few comfort modifiers, especially since we do have the comfort malice from that event that popped up, which is really frustrating. It was awkward timing. Uh, zero, zero, that's just because their storage is full, which is fine. We've got lots of money. What we're, we're going to do is passenger rocket immediately. Mm -hmm. Can I just actually build the sexy dome? Shut this dome completely. That might be the way to go. Build a basic dome. The vista, the research site. I mean, not that aspect matters. Yeah. 
I think I'll um, connect you over this way. And yeah, we'll build a little tunnel over here. I think that's what's going to happen. This dome's going to get shut down. I don't know if that's going to like lower the soil quality or just freeze it. Hopefully it just freezes it in place. There are Earthsick colonists. Funding received. And we'll start making some Martian babies to keep up our population and have them be Martian country. borns, which are just generally going to be a lot better for us. Great dust storm coming. Okay. Oh, I have another shuttle waiting at home. Watch us miss the window here. I don't know, it might be so slow that it's going to come after the dust storm anyway. <clears throat> I don't think this... This one... We don't actually get a uh, soul count. I'm wondering if this one will even make it before the dust storm. Okay. So that's a bit, it's a bit yellow, but I think it's going to be good. So we don't have fancy houses, but that's going to have to be okay. Um, we're going to get two of these living complexes. We are going to get a farm in here, because A, we need the food, and B, it'll increase comfort. Um, then we're going to need uh, services. Definitely an infirmary, because we need medical services for... Um, Increasing birth rate. We can't see. Uh, I'm put you right over here because oh, not the ramp. Passage. Go that way. Diner. Small space bar. It's not a big place. Um, perhaps a full. Oops. Grocery. And the other thing we're going to want is um, nurseries, ideally, and a school. So the nursery is nice because it increases the average comfort. Like it's hot comfort, so it'll increase the average comfort of the dome, which increases birth rates. Sector scanned. Now we're going to want to pull people into here um, because what we want is. Uh, we don't want seniors, because they can't make babies. And we do want sexy people. Not that we have any. Okay. It says zero of zero. Or is that currently in the dome? Maybe we have some. I guess we could check our colonists and filter by perks. You know? Out of curiosity. Oh, you got lots of sexy people. Excellent. And how many medics are we up to? Six. We need one more, and we will be able to... I wonder if we've got one on this huddle. We'll be able to uh, go and check out that breakthrough. So, okay, I'm going to turn off this dome completely. Dehydrate. Yeah, but people are going to move out, right? Wait, do people still live here? If the dome's off? Okay, turn it back on. Let's just make this a low-priority dome. And yeah, you can be wheat harvesting, that's going to be okay. There are Earthsick colonists. I know, I know, I know. Hopefully the comfort's going to go up over here. The colonists oh. are on the brink of dehydration. I mean, we have water, that's not the problem. It's just because we toggled things on and off. Um, what was I going to... Oh, de uh, the decor here. Get a garden. Our goal is to try to hit high comfort levels. Uh, oh, you might make it in time. Making job slots, making residential slots, so we're good there. We'll need more job slots. What we might do is this might be a good place to put in some of the polymer factories, especially since both domes will be able to contribute to it. And I guess people from here could go work over here if it's on. Wonderful. Land, please. New colonists have arrived. Some colonists are departing. are departing. No, we did not get another medic. Yeah, highest priority dome over here. Comfort, shopping, social, medical checks. Well, we have um, an infirmary for medical checks. Uh, shopping can be satisfied not by the diner, but by the grocer. And social, we have the space bar for social and the diner for social. So those needs will actually be met. 
there just may have not been enough workers to supply that right now, which again is, is always going to be a bit of an issue. Please take off before the dust storm. Seven hours. Oh, it's going to be quite the race. Yeah, watch this just not make it because I, I delayed sending this just slightly. Oh, that'll be frustrating. Maybe four hours? I don't, I'm not tracking the percentages. I think it's going to be just short. Oh my god! 97? 98? 99? Zero hours. Okay, it's 100, but it's not. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. There it is. Oh, just barely. Just barely made it in. Before the dust storm. Oh, wonderful. Okay. I guess you don't have a security post. You might have to be okay. It'll hurt your sanity, but it won't reduce your comfort. How many Martian-borns do we have now, if any? I think it's a perk. Is it a quirk? Quirk. We have some. Uh, that colonist is a renegade. Yeah. He's a whiner, too. We have some. Not many, but some. But theoretically... Anomaly analyzed. Uh, you will give me food for concrete? Uh, I mean, we're kind of okay. Um, the comfort's 63. With a medical thing, that should be enough. Those services exist. We might There might not be enough. We may have to add more, like shopping, because again, right now it's just the grocer, which also doesn't work at night. Resources are low. But you can have up to eight visitors at a time. I think we'll be okay. The odd composition of the debris. Oh, when genius is available. That's handy. Are we... Okay. That's fairly There's legit. There's more to the barren... And the machine parts. Because our maintenance is such that it is being consumed. And we don't have as many workers over here, right? Because people are moving to the other dome. We can cancel some of these shifts to save power. Yeah. We don't have enough people. Well, our people is going up. Last time I looked at this, it was 71. So we're at 89. We're definitely getting more peeps than the last time I checked. I mean, our rockets are all 100% dedicated to, um, to bringing more people in right now. And then theoretically... Babies will happen. Is the hope. Comfort 67. Yeah, 67 with a medical thing. Uh, we should definitely be getting babies over here. So I think it's normally 70 without a medical post. I'll have to I'll have to double check. Without checking the wiki, I won't be able to remember exactly. Sector scan with uh, some fairly decent riches. Anomaly found. Research complete. Martian Institute of Science. Yeah, I may have wanted to re retweak the order of things so that we can get the uh, biome engineering first. Yeah, both of these for comfort is going to be very nice. Uh, those are new crops, medical center. The crops are also quite good. I think we want both of these. I mean, I know we still don't have the, the meteor defense system, but Resources that may low. just have to continue to wait. Like, it sort of sucks not to have it, but I don't know. The storm. Yeah, so we have lots of, yeah. About a thousand, well, a thousand and nine hundred of those resources, so we're going to be fine through the dust army. Our, su our supplies are definitely, definitely good for that. Anomaly analyzed. Thanks for the free science. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Yeah, we're still scanning the low ground here Funding received. so that we can find anomalies that we can work now. Funding received, which means passenger rocket, uh, medic. And we'll just send you home. Watch. Go, go, go. Hopefully none of our medics are the ones that are having the the earth sickness. That so we can actually get that breakthrough. It would really suck if someone beat us to it. Alright, you launch. You're not full of rare metals, but that's okay. We've got four billion bucks right now. Um, let's outsource. Didn't realize we were sitting on quite that much money. I know it's been growing. I want to keep a nest egg for emergencies. We're sort of there. We are a little low on some things. I don't want to use one of my actual rockets for it. I suppose I could buy another rocket. They're what, 3,000? Yeah. Well, I mean, 3 million, but... We've discovered a magnificent... A bunch of new uh, applicants. So that'll hopefully add more interesting diversity to our pool keep people with good traits. I mean, unless it's like 50 non-specialized, non-perk, non-quirk people. But I think it is just a random assortment, just like anything else, uh, which tends to work out pretty well for us. We're drilling. The RC commander doesn't have anyone assigned to it. That's okay. 
Um, we could plan the extra tunnel. I guess I'll still wait until it gets scanned, and we'll finish these scans. But yeah, we'll have to send the RC commander um, out here, put a little depot next to it, start the mine, and then have the shuttles deliver goods to make the mine for us, which is going to eat into our machine parts a fair bit. Population still at 89 right now. Still hoping for more babies. People are living in the nursery, and you can see the comfort is 70, and it is average comfort of the dome that determines. Someone wants gambling. Oh, there's also one unemployed. Unfortunately, like, the gambling center is way too big. Um, I could build a little security thing. I'll build a little security post. Because we don't have one yet in this dome. And, you know, it'll help, and then just keep them busy. How big are the schools? I think the school is pretty large too, right? Yeah. Um, but we could put a playground down for the kids. Yeah, there we go. So the parents live here, alone, without the kids. Wonderful. And that ensures you get more kids. If there's no kids to ruin things. And we got a security station to watch over the ch kids and make sure they don't do anything, like, bad. Yeah, it only does playing, and I think only for children, but it is a very high uh, comfort level. So again, the average comfort is currently at 71. Research now, some complete. needs didn't get met there as the day reset, but that's okay. Bioengineering is giving more comfort to people in the domes with the farms. And then the next thing is going to increase the comfort in the small dome, which is where this is. So overall, this place should continue to make babies. We clearly got another one because we went from 89 to 90. Uh, both my rockets are currently rocketing. Boom, building's not working. I mean, we do have still a shortage of workers overall. Keep dropping things over here. I guess I could, okay. I could reset all the domes to normal priority. Hey, 100 colonists giving us a research boost as well. Ah, yeah, 103, very nice. And, uh, is there a reset? There's a reset filter. Medic. Ah, down to five. Funding received. We've got the extra hospitals and stuff going on, so the demand for medics is high enough that if we built a university, it would train some medics for us. Which is certainly something I want. Oh, we have four unemployed people. Okay. Which is in this dome. Interesting. And there. But not there. Alright, university. That's a lot of electronics, but we have enough. Get that going. Even research before research lab. Low. Launch. Polymers are low. I think what we're going to do is we're going to spend a bunch of our money. We're going to bring in a polymer injection here. We may have to spend a bit more of money on resources right now because we are a little low on workers. Oh, we went from 103 to 104. I think we got another baby. And that's without any of our techs that boost uh, birth rates. Science rate. Oh, we still have outsourcing as well. There you go. Dome bioscaping. Improved comfort in the dome. Really nice. No. Uh, fewer workers in the farms, actually. Water consumption goes down. It's just a nice freebie. I still want the microgravity medicine for the spire. Gene adaptation for good crops. Meteor defense system. I think we'll, we don't need this farm at all. I'm going to trash this farm. I'm going to keep one farm in each dome for comfort. And then upgrading them to the better crops should give us plenty of food. In fact, our food situation is really good right now. But we are going to be increasing our population here. So we're, we're happy that we're overkilling it on food. You can land now. Oh, and not cargo. Passenger rocket. Medic. 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 Trash you, you, and you. Although these guys could be educated into something, but we have we have plenty of unspecialized people to go to the university. The university is going to be set to auto mode, so it's going to train people based on uh, missing specializations, which is okay. I mean, there's an argument to be made. Maybe you want to accelerate the medics right now, but I don't think that's critically important. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open the uh, second shift in here as well, um, because we want as many people educating themselves as possible. We may even consider making this a high priority. I don't think so. No, if we... Well, I don't know. Maybe? I mean, we still need some people without specializations. Well, we don't need them. If a specialist works at something like a grocer, I don't think it hurts them. We'll see. 
I like our little base. It's compact, but it's getting things done. I was really nervous there that we were going to end up with a big population crash, but I think we balanced it out. We're losing one person here to Earthsick, but we have, we're going to have natural growth in our colony. And these are people who don't become Earthsick. So that is going to be very, 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 very helpful for our situation. The next big thing is going to be to get a big mining colony set up. Um, and more production of our base resources. But the mining would be nice, so if you get the three extractors working here. Also, if we could just slap down a bunch of concrete producers just to complete that. What is it? Is it cash reward? Oh, it's apartment prefabs, which I don't even know if we need the apartment prefabs. Well, no, we'll use the apartments places. Because most of our domes, we're not going to care about their comfort. Because um, we don't, you know, we don't need unlimited baby growth. It would be nice for a little while, but at a certain point, it actually becomes overwhelming. As long as we have one dome routinely making babies, that tends to be all you need. And in fact, sometimes you have to throttle that dome a little bit. Well, this is another plateau. Wow, we have a lot of unbuildable areas on this map. Not that it matters, because honestly, this area here, especially with this over here, we could fill with enough domes to like hit any population number we're looking for. You need more more territory just to get your you know enough mining things going. But that's not uh, that's not too bad. And yeah, we don't actually have the deep mining going on there. Um, did we find any deep water yet? No. Hmm. Interesting. Folks, thanks for watching another episode. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.